Hey everyone, I hope this Erev Shabbos message finds you and your loved ones continuing to be positive and happy and that you are all healthy and safe and well. As those of us here in South Florida are keenly aware, COVID-19 is far from over. Daily tallies of staggering numbers of confirmed positive cases, shattering records of previous days numbers has given us pause and causes us great and tremendous concern. Make no mistake, there is a tremendous and critically important role that each and every one of us can and must have at this time without compromise or equivocation. We must, I repeat, we must be ever so vigilant and responsible by wearing masks, masks that cover both our nose and mouth at all times when we leave our homes, both inside as well as outside, whether be it at shul or getting gas or at the grocery store. We must continue to practice social distancing by standing far apart from one another as hard as that feels and as tiresome as that has become, realizing that both of these efforts, wearing masks and social distancing, clearly mitigates the risk of contracting and spreading the virus. If you feel sick or if you have any symptoms whatsoever, please, please, we urge you to stay home. We are ready, we are willing and able to help you in any way that we can. We have to be extra sensitive and super duper careful to protect the elderly and the most vulnerable populations within our community now more than ever. Doing what's right isn't always easy, but doing what's right, especially at a time like this, is critically necessary. It requires all hands on deck. Our parsha this week begins Pinchas ben Elazar ben Aaron Akoin Heshiv es Chamosi Me'al bnei Israel. We celebrate Pinchas's zealotry and his courageous act, Laman Hashem, by punishing the outrageous and bombastic behavior as it took place in the midst of the Machne Yisrael, in the midst of the Jewish camp. And therefore say, says the Kodesh Baruch Hu, I hereby give him my covenant of peace, my brisi, my bris of shalom. Commenting on Hashem's blessing of peace to Pinchas, the Sephorno writes in his parish on Chumash that Pinchas received this blessing of shalom, this blessing of peace, because he had the courage to act publicly and to do so despite the risk that he might be chastised and ridiculed or perhaps worse, maybe even killed for assassinating a leader of the tribe of Shimon. A Jew, the Sephorno teaches us, must never be afraid to stand up in public and to do what is right even if the risks are great. It is not by chance that Parshas Pinchas sets into motion the settlement and establishment of Eretz Yisrael. You see, Bnei Yisrael can only exist because Jews following in the tradition of Avram Avinu, are not afraid to stand alone and publicly proclaim and demonstrate all that society must be based on justice and based on tzedek and righteousness. Baruch Hashem, we are at a stage in our history where Jews are given an opportunity to stand tall and to stand up and to loudly and proudly live our lives according to the ideals of the Torah and to give voice and protest to those who promulgate evil and hatred to the world through virulent anti-Semitism, anti be it through text, through tweet, through Facebook, any form of social media, or any other mode of communication. The Sephorno notes that Pinchas' act was the precise kapara, was the exact atonement that the Jewish people, that the Bnei Yisrael needed. They had sinned by standing idly and silently as terrible immorality and idolatry, idol worship was rampant all around them. By standing by and now allowing Pinchas to carry out his drastic move, what they did now is that they showed that they now supported his courageous actions. Pinchas was thus blessed with the bris of Shalom, the high priesthood, the kahuna, the dore doris for his generations that would follow, which served as the means for atonement, the means for kapora, for Jewish sins in general. Standing up for what you believe in isn't always easy, but it is almost always necessary. The story is told of Louis Brandeis, who graduated from Harvard Law School at the age of 20 with the highest GPA in that school's history and after other academic triumphs, we know he was appointed as United States Supreme Court Justice. When Brandeis was studying at law, law at Harvard Law School, 
An anti-Semitic professor by the name of Peters always seemed to display animosity towards him. One day, this professor Peters was having lunch at the university dining room when Brandeis came along with his tray and he sat right next to him. The professor said, Mr. Brandeis, I don't think you understand. A pig and a bird do not sit together to eat. Brandeis looked at him and calmly replied, don't worry, professor, I'll fly away. And he went and he sat at another table. Peters this professor decided to take revenge on the next test paper, but Brandeis responded brilliantly to all of the questions that he was asked. Unhappy and very frustrated, professors, this Peter, as he asked him the following question. He said, Mr. Brandeis, if you were walking down the street and found a package, a bag of wisdom, and another bag of a lot of money, which one would you take? Without hesitating, Brandeis responded, the one with the money, of course. Peter, smiling sarcastically, said, just like a Jew. Unlike you, I would have taken the wisdom. Brandeis shrugged indifferently and responded, each one takes what he doesn't have. Professor Peters, his hate for the Jewish student came to a finale when he scribbled on his student's final exam the word idiot, fool, and handed it back to him. A few minutes later, Louis Brandeis, he got up, he went to the professor and he said to him in a dignified but sarcastically polite tone, Professor Peters, you autographed the exam sheet, but you did not give me yet a grade. The powerful lesson of standing up for what you believe in, standing tall, giving voice to what is right, not compromising the values for which it is that we stand. It is like Pinchas of our Parsha, and it is to do what is right. Standing up for what you believe in and doing the right thing, it isn't always easy, but it is, and certainly in the times for which we find ourselves now, it is always, always critical, and it is always necessary. Let's take this lesson to heart. Let's be vigilant, and let's be responsible, and let's do our part to make the world a better place. From my family to yours, I want to wish each and every one of you a peaceful Shabbos, a positive Shabbos, a joyous Shabbos Kodesh. And let's, in Mirza Hashem, continue to hope and pray for good things to be felt by one and for all. Wishing you a beautiful Shabbos.